So uh, the way I would like to work generally with this application probably is to be monitoring through Pro Tools the whole time. You know, I've got audio recorded in Pro Tools or whatever I'm going to be working, whatever DAW I'm going to be working in, mm -hmm. and I want to get the audio into Pro Tools without having to import it. I want to listen through. I'm listening. I'm happy. I got the arrangement, the sounds. I want to just get it into Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. You have you can, your plugins. You have my plugins. Outboards, yeah, whatever. and it can be a real time yeah. Yeah, bounce. Sure. Or Definitely. what's so, the best way to set gonna, that up? Sure, yeah. So <laughs> as as this uh, as Superior is set up right now, it's set up to be just a stereo out. We have. We have uh, 16 stereo outs from Pro Tools, but right now it's going through one, two. So if I play this back now, it's just going to the uh, instrument track here. Right. Just everything, all these tracks are panned and ready to go, you know, straight into Pro Tools. Right. Uh, the other way to do this is to, to do each channel. Like the, I, we have multi-channel defaults if you want to use that, but I did my own now because I, wanna, I know your preference and I try to emulate that. Right. Uh, so you want to have the kick in to one, kick out to another, and, and you want to have it like stereo channels, because no, mono channels, because that's what it is. Right. Yeah, you want to multi-track, just like exactly. you when you're tracking drums, exactly. you want to look at I don't it want stereo So channels. what you would do, right. I, I, I'll take the first <laughs> channel here, it's the kick in, I'll take that and, and I'll put that to out three, four, mm -hmm. and pan that to the left, that's, that's how I that's get three, the kick. Then. That's three, yeah. yeah. And then I set up the first aux channel, and you can't use one and two because it's normal to the instrument track. That's normal right? to the instrument track. So, okay, wow. so I want to have everything separate to aux track. Gotcha. Uh, and so the first aux track I would set to plug in superior drummer three, four left, which is three then. And okay. actually, we should explain that too that these kind of RTAS plugins are multi track out. Yeah. So you would be picking the output in your DAW. And if you didn't have that, if we didn't have a multi track RTAS plugin, in the session, all you would see is the physical one and two input from the converters or the option of the bus inputs. Sorry. But now when we add this Superior 2.0, then Pro Tools gives you the third option if you click on that, Matthias. Then you'll see plug-in as well, and then there's Superior, and Multi there's outs. all the outputs from it. Right. So you choose it from that. Right. So I've, I've done a template here in Pro Tools where I set everything up. Uh, kick out, kick in, kick sub, snap top, bottom, everything, to aux tracks. Mm -hmm. Then I have a saved, I, I did a user save in the, in the mixer section. So I have something called multi-out. So I choose that. Then everything gets panned and everything gets multi out, as you can see, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and, and on to, to, uh, to the highest number. You know, and when I play this back now, as you can see in Pluto, everything comes to its own uh, track here, mm -hmm. so I can solo the overhead here, for example, mm -hmm. the ambience mm -hmm. close, the ambience mid, and whatever I would do inside the mixer of Superior would reflect itself. So, for right. example, if I would be in the Superior mixer and, and solo the kick, I would of course hear only that. That would only go there, and I can raise the volume of that, you know, put, put right. uh, EQs on that, right. whatever, right. you know. So you know? now you're you're using the the superior mixer as a sub mixer, right? So right. so you could either make this all just you know zero, make them make them all unity, or right. you could pre mix the drums, right? Have the old school come... way where you know the guys would want to hear they'd print their drums the way that they'd want to hear it already pre balanced, you know? right? Exactly. So it gives you that choice. Exactly, and and. and um... So now we're using aux tracks because in Prutus LE, uh, aux tracks is the way to go to be, be able to have real time. In Prutus HD, would, you would obviously have audio tracks with the input selector on. Right. right. So but LE doesn't yeah. have input. But, right. So you could also, oh, yeah. as I, I mean, in that you could also, of course, have audio tracks in Prutus LE, but then you have to print it to disk in order to, to, hear know, it. to, to listen to it. So right. we set it up as aux tracks. But this, there are many ways to do it, but as you can see, you have all the options and it's just to, you know. Yeah. And you can, of course, use the busing and bus send and do that to multi out, do parallel compressing, everything. And those and would be additional outputs that you yeah. just add up to exactly. 32 outs. And if you had more than 16 outs that you wanted to do, you just I mean, do we it did, a couple of passes? Now, we used only, uh, the last one here is going to, what is it, 23? 24 so we have additional these oh you do uh, yeah so I mean even this big drum kit everything you I know, thought you said you only had 16 stereo outs stereo outs yeah 32, but we're, we're using mono right. 
that's 32. So right. Right. We're using it mono. We're, we're I planning don't know if each. Would, would you get nervous if you had more than 32 tracks in your session? But it's possible. Yeah. And you could yeah. just, if you <laughs> needed to do that, yeah. then you would you would then do another, an additional pass. Right, just two, two passes. Where you'd, you'd mute everybody else right. and just have your, if you had a crazy drum kit that right. had a bunch of additional effects in it, right. you'd just do another pass with right. it and it'd be totally phase yeah. locked. Gotcha. You know? it'd, yep. be, it'd, it'd be exact so you wouldn't have any phases. Yeah. So, so that's, that's one way to do it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, it's great. Yeah. <laughs>